You know how when you close down the aperture on the lens, the image gets sharper as you stop down, but did you know that if you stop down too far, your image actually becomes soft instead? So today I'm gonna to explain why that's a thing, and no, it's not because your lens is not good enough, it's just physics. Now let me first show you what I'm talking about. Here's an image of my couch shot with a fairly sharp lens at f2.8. We'll crop this way in so you can see the fine details on the fabric. As we stop the aperture down towards f8, we see a minor but noticeable increase in sharpness, but as we hit around the f11 mark, notice how the resolution of details begin to fall apart. And as we hit the smallest aperture of f32 on this lens, everything looks slightly soft, even though they're most definitely all in focus at this point. And that might be confusing for some of us because it's generally understood that the further you stop down the lens, the sharper it gets. So why is it going the other way past a certain point? And this is all happening due to something called diffraction, which affects all kinds of waves, including sound waves, radio waves, waves of water, and in our case, light waves. This whole diffraction thing has something to do with how waves have a tendency to spread out as they pass through any sort of small opening, and in this case, that small opening is our lens's aperture. This wave diverging when passing through a whole thing is just part of how waves behave. Remember that high school science experiment? The one with the water tank and wave generator and a slit between two blocks? Yeah. That one. So light being spread out means they cannot converge into a single sharp point. Now these not so sharp points of light that are formed due to diffraction are called airy disks. Now because we're not optical engineers or physicists, as photographers, it's a lot easier for us to think of these poorly converged light rays as something we know as blurriness. Now this whole diffraction thing actually happens at all aperture values, but the diffraction is actually very minimal at larger apertures. In fact, it's so minimal it doesn't actually impact the resolution at all. And as that aperture gets smaller, the amount of diffraction increases. So it's really only past a certain point where there's enough diffraction going on for us to notice any amount of blurriness. Some photographers think that diffraction only starts happening past a certain aperture value. That is not true, diffraction happens at every aperture value. So if that really is the case, then why in my own test shots does my image still sharpen up as I stop down towards f8 and only begins getting softer due to diffraction from f11 onwards? Now there are two things happening here. One, as I stop down my lens, the image appears sharper because stopping down the lens reduces aberrations. Number two, why is it that I do not see a decrease in sharpness due to the increase in diffraction as I stop down until in my case, I hit f11? Now the reason for that is, the amount of blurriness caused by diffraction is so small before that point, it's actually happening within the size of an individual pixel. So it doesn't actually affect the recorded image. For example, assume this is how much softening that's happening due to diffraction at f4, and here it is at f8. Now assume these lines represent the size of the individual pixels in your image, and that small increase in blurriness from f4 to f8 was not enough to change the content that's recorded in each pixel. It's simply not big enough of a difference for the camera to pick up on. That blurriness has to spread out enough to influence enough pixels before we start seeing loss of detail in our image. Which means if we had a sensor with smaller pixels, like a high resolution sensor of the same size, we would then start noticing the effects of diffraction at even earlier apertures. So I keep mentioning the f11 point in this video, so is f11 the magic number? Should you just never stop down beyond f11 for the sharpest image? Well, not precisely, because at what point diffraction begins to become noticeable, that would depend on a variety of factors, the most prominent being how big the pixels are in your sensor. Generally speaking, for the kind of DSLR and mirrorless cameras that we are regularly dealing with, somewhere in the range of f9 and f11 would be a safe zone to assume when diffraction begins to soften our images. It's important to know that no lenses are exempt from the effects of diffraction. You could have a theoretically perfect lens and it would still give you soft images if you close this aperture down too far. So yeah, it even happens to a Zeisotis. I've actually tested that. So just keep it in mind the next time you need to stop down to tiny apertures that uh, diffraction is a thing. So I do hope that my explanation today on diffraction has been helpful to you. And I've actually never asked for this before, but go ahead and rate my explanation out of 10 down in the comments. And go right ahead and show this video to somebody who you think should know that diffraction exists. And if there's anything else that's bothering you that you would like me to try explaining away, feel absolutely free to let me know in a comment as well. And that's all I got for today. And just in case, do consider before you leave, checking out these other videos of me explaining other stuff.